our today movie program. Today we have invited our greatest Taiwanese director Dora Chen and our senior secretary Connie. So about Dora, why do you choose the monster corporation for this movie? Ah, so it's a good question. There are some reasons why we choose this movies. The first, the first reason is that it's a well-known movie for lots of us uh, because it's a common childhood memories for lots of us, and so we can, so we have seen it. Yeah. And the second reason is that um, although it's a cute cartoon movie, but we can also get pleasures from it. Like not only from the kids, but also adults can get pleasure of it uh, from it. And the last reason is that um, different people can get different things from the movies. For example, if you're a kid, you can get a piece of a pleasure out of watching it. Mm -hmm. And but if you are an adult, you can learn like the meaning of let it go or the power of happiness from the monster in cooperation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the question. Yeah, can agree with more. Yeah. So how about Connie? What do you get from this movie? Okay. I think the movie conveys the message that. To laugh is much more important than to scream. Because mm. I found Sully in the end of the scene, he discovered the fact that the children's laughter is more energetic and more powerful than their screaming. And he reformed the company system and to change the way they use electricity. Mm. Yes. Mm. I really like this movie. Recommend. Yeah. I agree. As the well going says that the uh, happiness will stay and the sadness will pass. Okay, thank you you guys. Thank, thank you. you. Welcome our guest. This is our co-producer Josephine and this is our big fan of Pixar. So um, Josephine, that's sure as about your idea about this movie. Okay, um, as you can see and the first scene we have act is uh, a footage in a Monster Inc. And um, it describes that um, Sullivan and, the, and Boo first met in this movie. In this movie, it want to convey a message that although two different kinds of species met together and they are not um, familiar with each other, they can still um, slowly understand each other and um, uh, build a connection with each other and they can uh, eventually make friends and know each other well. Yeah. Mm. Thank you for sharing your opinion to us. Mm. Okay, so how about Elmo? And what, uh, what do you get from this movie? So when I was a child, yeah. I, I think monsters are bad. How do you think of monsters? Uh, bad, bad, bad. Scary, 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 bad. Scary, bad. scary yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think they are scary and I think they will eat me. They will steal my fingers when I'm sleeping. Wow. Mm -hmm. Did any miss? Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> monsters, because, no monsters. Because I sleep when the lights up. Oh. oh, exactly. Mm -hmm. So. But after I watched this movie, I changed my mind. I think that monster can be good. Mm -hmm. Because my Kowalski is cute and Sullivan is cuter. <laughs> and they make good friends with food. Wow. I don't think they are scary anymore. Mm -hmm. After the first time I watched this movie. Now I'm wondering that if there has any deeper meaning behind this movie. So I found that this movie was People were skeptical of all of the Muslim, even though <coughs> they don't know the person are. And just like people judge monsters, many people were judging Muslims. Mm. So I think maybe the movie wants to tell us that yes, some monsters are bad, but most are not. Mm -hmm. They are not scary, so 
we can have a good relationship with them. So don't judge a book by its cover. Okay. So thank you guys and see you guys in next week. Bye bye.